Welcome back everybody. Happy New Year. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year and y'all got into safe and uh, another year starting. I can't believe how fast this year has just gone by. We have done so much at the farm. A lot more plant, uh, projects in the future and I'm really looking forward to. But today I just wanted to give you all an update about the chickens. Today, so. this morning, I came into the chicken run and Mr. Duke, my rooster, start crowing. It's like, oh my gosh, I could not believe it. He finally crowed. I mean, I've been waiting for him to grow for quite a while now. So, um, but yeah, he started crowing when he was really raspy and everything. And then he did like five times. And I, I wish I had my phone with it to record it, but I did. But So let me show you what my big boy here is doing. He just jumped brownie. He got you, girl. He did, didn't he? Oh, I know you're not happy. Come here. Are you jumping my brownie? If you're going to make out with her, you need to go start crow for me too now. Can you crow? No? So he has been acting a little bit different than he normally is. He's kind of getting frisky with the ladies, but <laughs> they really don't like it very much. So they're trying to fight him off. So it's kind of funny. But uh, my old group is um, kind of rejecting him big time. So the, young, uh, the younger group, the one he was growing up with, um, you know, they're just been around him. And he got a couple of them. But the older so group, far, he's really not messing with them yet. So... But here's Smith Snuggle, Miss Brownie. There's Dolly, Snow. There's Miss Daisy coming right there, the white one, like Brahma. And there's Miss Fall right behind her. And uh, Miss Gray. And there's my big boy back there. Can you crow? with her no no you leave her alone don't mess with my ladies I know go get your own girls no you're not messing with him Oh well, I guess he's not gonna crow for me. Maybe I can catch him later on doing it and I'll show y'all how he, what a beautiful crow he got. I tried. He's just being, he's just being stubborn. He's just not going to do it. This ice storm that we had just a few days ago, well last week, um, it was pretty rough. Um, I had a couple times I had to run out here and grab what I could for just securing some areas where I thought the wind would not blow in. So I went ahead and covered that up and they, after that they were fine. But yeah, they're pretty much stayed in their run the whole time. So, um, but they made it through the, this really bad freeze. Even my quails are doing good. I had them all covered up and secured for the, you know, for the weather and everything and um, for it to not to hurt them. But every day that water froze, so the quails at least. In the chicken run with the dog, with the sorry, with the big chickens, I used the the warm, the heated, um, the heated water bowl for the dogs, and that kept that water not being from freezing up. So that was really, um, really nice. So I only had to worry about the quail. So pretty much every day, I brought another container out and defrosted the other one and um, and just swapped them out. So that worked really well for me. But I'm just so glad I have not lost any birds because of this really bad weather we had. I, and another
So far, what do you think about him crowing, huh? Gray? Danny, what do you think, sweetheart? You not even pressed right now? You don't care? Alright. You going trying to go get after Miss Daisy? Hmm? What? My buddy. Hmm? Also, I have decided not to use the heat lamp this year. Um, you know, there's so many people saying you should use it and you should not use it and because of the danger what it can do. But it also kept, you know, it's, it matters about how you, how you clean, you keep your coop. But the thing is, uh, I decided not to use the, the heat lamp this year. And um, they did fine. I put extra hay in that coop and uh, made sure all the areas that, you know, had any kind of draft it was covered up. And they did really good. And uh, I just made sure they had the right food to keep, you know, to keep the energy they're needing to stay warm. And gave them, you know, extra treats, uh, scrambled eggs with oatmeal and stuff like that. And um, it really, it, they were fine. I was really surprised because last year before and before that, I used heat lamps. And I think I will not use any more heat lamps from now on. Unless I have baby chicks, that's a different story. But from right now, from what I could tell, they did, they did just fine. Here are my babies. Still have not been laying eggs. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm feeding them too much or I really don't know. So if you have any idea, I tried pretty much everything I was told. Except the only thing I have not done is put a light in here. Um, it has been pretty cold. So my focus on was to keep them alive. And hopefully when it start warming up, hopefully I will be getting some quail eggs. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Pretty though. Everywhere it's a little bit different with the weather, so um, I'm kind of curious what y'all have done with for your chickens or for your livestock and how to keep them warm with this really crazy ice storm that we had. Uh, that was totally unexpected, but I'm glad it's passed. But we still have a pretty rough winter ahead, but uh, it's still December, last day of it. But uh, it's just, it's amazing last few days we had just ice and snow and the pool was completely frozen and today i mean it's just been nice and sunny and it's just really nice weather so it's time to say goodbye for this year and i'll see y'all next year and y'all have a blessed evening and a happy new year again and uh i will see y'all around and if i do get that crowing from him i will catch it on video and i will add this on the end of this video <gasps> Good job, buddy. Good job.
now I got him started. Ain't he the handsome boy? <coughs> you are, aren't you? You handsome boy. Good job, Duke. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. <coughs> yes, you did good. I'm proud of you. But uh, I finally got him crowned, so I hope y'all enjoyed it.